Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a designer accessories haul and unboxing. And let me just start by saying that these items were not purchased all at the same time. This is not the result of a huge shopping spree gone wild or anything like that, even though that sounds like a lot of fun. In fact, the main item was picked up back in July, but I never really talked about it. And a lot of these pieces I purchased at a huge discount, which we will get to later part of what really inspired this video. So today I'm just going to be sharing this little roundup of luxury items that I've purchased lately. This box just came from Shopbop is where I picked this up. And I'm not sure this would be a designer item. It is a higher end piece, we'll say. It's from the brand Lenine, Lenine. They're Italian, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's probably Lenine. Let me quickly set the stage for this item. It is a handbag because it is something that I have had my eye on for months and it got marked down and I was really tempted but I still couldn't pull the trigger. It was too expensive and then I just happened to be checking because it was one of those pieces that stood out to me and it spoke to me so much that I just could not stop thinking about it and then just the other day I said you know what? let me just double check see if it's been marked down again and sure enough with the second markdown, I went ahead and purchased. So it's this gorgeous handbag. I peeked earlier and I gasped as soon as I took it out of the bag. It's even more beautiful than photos. Are you ready? Here she is. This is obviously not a fall winter item. This is a spring summer piece. Because I live in Miami, it's going to be a year round item, but I can see how most people are not going to be interested in anything like this. Earlier in the year, I was looking for really fun straw bags and I started to find all of these really beautiful rhinestone decorated bags. And I went down the rabbit hole until I found this brand and this was by far the most beautiful of all of the fancy straw bags I could find. But I want to say originally it was something like $610, $650, somewhere around there. Way too expensive. And I know it's imported and it's handmade, so it's going to be more expensive. The cheapest place I found was Shopbop. It was marked down to like $400 something. I was so tempted because I couldn't stop thinking about it. You know when you find one of those items that you just love so much, it's so unique, it is so your style that you have to have it. That was me in this bag. Tempted at 400, I said, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then when I checked the last time, it was marked down to 200. I pulled the trigger. It's still very expensive, but I think $200 is a lot more reasonable for something like this because it isn't just handmade. There are so many incredible details on this bag that you're not going to find at any other boutique. Even in Miami where we have tons of tropical boutiques and there are a lot of places where you can find really special bikinis, cover-ups, hats, flip-flops, all of the beach accessories, really fancy ones. I wouldn't be able to find anything as beautiful as this. There is a boutique nearby that had this bag in the window but it wasn't even this bag, it was a different color and I don't think it went on sale. It was one of those boutiques where you know nothing is on sale. Like I would be afraid to even walk in there and touch anything. It can be carried a couple different ways. So you can cinch the straps and you can use it as a top handle bag or if you open it up inside, it comes with a strap. This beautiful rope strap so I could wear it as a crossbody or over the shoulder bag as well. On the inside right here, there's a little hook where you can attach the strap. I think I'll get the most use out of this bag going to dinner. You know, if we go down to the beach for dinner, which is very rare, but it does happen occasionally, I don't necessarily want to take a dark or a leather bag. Something like this is so perfect and beautiful. Even though it's a straw bag, it is a fancy evening bag for sure. The next item I have here to share is a pair of shoes. These are from Dolce & Gabbana. And I purchased these on super sale from Bloomingdale's during one of their huge designer shoe sales. And I already posted an unboxing reel on Instagram, which I'm having so much fun doing those. So it comes with this little tag inside. I don't know. The item was created using carefully selected decorative components applied by hand. So I guess this is just a little card of authenticity from Dolce & Gabbana. And then a little dust bag. I love this pink and maroon print. The polka dot, it's very pretty. 
I put everything back <laughs> so that I could unbox again. But just look at these shoes. Ah, it does say. Okay, so right here on the box, the suggested retail price for these was $1,095, nearly $1,100, and then plus tax, even more than that. But I got them on sale for, I think they were close to $373.80. I had an additional discount, so I typed in the promo code, and then I had a $25 reward from their Loyalist program, which if you're interested in designer sale items, I highly recommend signing up for the Bloomingdale's email list, but also their Loyalist program. I got the $25 gift card from a previous designer purchase, which I am going to show you in today's video, but I have found that of all of the online designer sales, Bloomingdale's has been blowing me away in terms of sale price and selection. I don't think anybody so much as tried these on and took a single step in them because the soles are completely clean. They didn't have a ton of sizes left and I'm so happy that I scooped them up. I didn't wait. I didn't think about it. I simply added them to cart and checked out because I want to say I checked later on in the day and they were already gone. But they still had a really great selection of other designer shoes. Great designers, huge markdowns. I love the color of these shoes. The shade of pink is absolutely perfect. It's not super neon, but it's a great medium intensity pink. They're sort of like the straw bag in that it's not exactly a classic style, but when I look at these shoes, I just know they are my style. You know, nobody else has to like them. In fact, I'm sure there will be a ton of people who hate them, but these are so me. I will wear them for years to come. I obviously haven't worn them yet, but I think when I do wear them, I'll probably pair them with maybe skinny jeans or skinny pants. I think that could be really cute. But I think the obvious choice would be some sort of dress or skirt. Plain color, it could be all black, all white, like a winter white. And then these will be the pop of color, the pop of something fun. They're certainly not fall winter appropriate, that's for sure. But you know, it's still like 80 degrees outside. So I think I probably will get use out of them sometime soon. I'll probably get more use out of them next spring, summer. I don't really care. For that price, when you see something like this that goes on sale so drastically and it's in your size, I feel like you just have to pounce on it. Like if I waited to shop seasonally for sale items, designer sale items, I would never get anything. Sometimes when you're shopping designer sale, you have to be willing to take something from the season before or the year or even two years before. I think this is one of the best buys of the year and it rivals the bag for one of the most beautiful items in my closet. The next item is another pair of shoes that I picked up from Bloomingdale's on sale from St. Laurent and I did show these off in my last fashion haul, which I have a fall fashion haul coming up very soon. I know fall's nearly over, um, but so many of my items took forever to ship and arrive and then I added more things to my cart and checked out, so I am going to have a fall fashion video. I promise I will not wait until winter. But I just want to show you these one more time to reiterate the fact that Bloomingdale's is worth checking out. I never used to shop at Bloomingdale's. I never lived near a Bloomingdale's, but the website is available everywhere to everyone. And that is where I've been finding these incredible designer sale items. And because I'm part of their loyalist perks, they send me an email anytime they have a designer sale and they'll have 10 points per dollar, triple points. I don't really keep track. All I know is that for the few purchases I've made, I've earned back $25 gift cards, $50 gift cards to spend for future purchases. And trust me, Bloomingdale's did not sponsor this video, but they are responsible for my shopping habit. I feel like that's good information to have. I didn't know this is something that I discovered on my own, but I've always been interested in designer sales. I've picked up a lot of pieces from the Nordstrom designer sale that they have twice a year. There's one in November. Generally, it's after Thanksgiving not Black Friday, I wanna say it's maybe even a little bit later, and then they have one in the spring. And I always take advantage, but they never have a great selection online. Usually the best selection is in store with Nordstrom, and you almost have to have that insider source. Like if you have a sales associate that works in the designer shoe section, the salon shoes, 
They can send you photos and let you know what sales. They can tell you what's going on sale before it goes on sale. But I don't have that type of person in Bloomingdale's and I have found the best deals are online there. And if any of you have any special shopping tips, tricks, if you know of any incredible designer sales, drop them down below in the comment section. I am always interested to learn more about designer sales, but these are the shoes. Again, I showed them off once before, so I just wanted to quickly show you. But it's this really beautiful, tall stiletto booty from YSL with the fringe detail, lace up. They are so chic, really cool and very appropriate for this season. So I'm gonna get a ton of use out of these. The ankle is pretty slim. I'm not sure I could fit skinny jeans in there. Maybe tights, maybe leggings, something really, really thin, probably not thick denim, but I think these would be really cute with a mini skirt or a mini dress and an oversized blazer or coat, something like that. I love the fringe. I love the color, the pointy toe. The heel height is ideal. I'm obsessed with these boots. Just like the Dolce & Gabbana shoes, these boots were originally $10.95, $1,100. And I got these on sale for three something. I saved an additional 15 or 20% off. Whatever it was, it knocked off another $50. So it made these a really decent price. The most important thing is that it's something that I'm going to actually use. It's not just going to sit in the closet and collect dust. Even though I haven't worn them yet, I'm planning to and it's something that I absolutely love. It's a little bit edgier, it's a little bit more trendy, but it's a black booty. This is always going to be in style for fall. My next item came from the Gucci store. Unfortunately, I paid full price for this, but the full price wasn't terrible, so I don't really feel that bad about it. And you've probably seen it. I already posted, but then I wrapped it back up and I kept it in the box. This is one of their beautiful scarves. This is one of the Double G Wool Silk Scarves. It retails for $460. This is available on their website and they have a great selection of scarves. They have plain wool scarves, they have the wool silk, they have a gray in pink, which is really nice. There's a black, they have a tan and brown. When I was in store looking at these scarves, I had seen a photo online and I thought it was really beautiful. It was right before I went to Pittsburgh in September and I was looking for some cool weather stuff. So I went in the store and I was torn between this one and a tan and brown, but it had a metallic thread woven in. So it looked sort of metallic. It was really beautiful, very classic. I almost went with the classic tan and brown. The lady there convinced me to get the pink and blue. But I do love this color combination. I think pink is very pretty and it's reversible. So on one side it's pink, but then you can flip it the other way and it becomes this really beautiful kind of powder baby blue. So depending on which side you want to see more of, you can kind of twist it so that you can see both. I found the little tag, it says made in Italy. The fabric is 91% wool and then 9% silk. I was gonna say, it feels like wool, it doesn't really feel silky, but I guess they have other, other scarves that are 100% wool. It's very warm and nice and thick. This is a substantial scarf, so it's not like something that you're gonna feel really protective of, like you don't want anything to pull at it or scratch it. You know, some of the really thin scarves are so delicate. I would almost feel bad wearing them out. I wore this all around Pittsburgh and I don't think I got a single stain on it. It doesn't seem to pick up or absorb or transfer. I might as well demonstrate. Oh, it's so warm and cozy. Since I have the pink top, I'm gonna put it on the blue side. But what I love about this scarf is that it has the really pretty print. So you get the double G's but it's a larger print, it's not that micro GG print. So I don't know, it just looks very chic, it's very classic, and even though it's a brighter color combination, which I know isn't going to speak to everybody, I think you could wear something like this with a very neutral outfit. Again, if you wear all white, all black, tan, something very boring, this is that pop of color that adds some spice and some style to your outfit. I was a bit surprised that when I was shopping in store, the lady convinced me to get this one because I wasn't 
originally leading towards this. This is what I went in to see in person and to purchase, but then I became so in love with that brown and I would have thought that she would have steered me in that direction so that I would be happy, you know, just stay really classic, something very simple. But she was like, no, you have to get the pink because this is such a unique color combination. We're always going to have brown. We're always going to have khaki, but we will probably not always have pink and blue. That's what sold me because she was right. I mean, this is not something that you're going to see every single year. But I think it's something that you could absolutely wear every year. I saved the very best item for last. No designer accessories haul would be complete without a giant designer handbag, right? So here I have ooh, this giant Louis Vuitton. This is the on the go GM tote bag, I believe it's called. Yes, it's the monogram Escale on the go GM pastel. So this is from the summer collection. This is something that I picked up in July for my birthday this year, but I never talked about it on camera. I did post a couple photos on Instagram, but I wanted to show you the bag. I don't own anything from Louis Vuitton. This is the very first purchase I've ever made and I've never really been drawn to the brand and it's no shade, no judgment, nothing like that. Not in a snobby way, like, oh, I don't like Louis Vuitton. For whatever reason, it's just a brand that I've never really been drawn to. I guess because you see the Neverfull so much. I don't know, I guess I just always thought it was kind of boring, maybe too classic. But when I saw this collection, I thought, wow. Now, if I were ever going to buy a Louis Vuitton, this would be the collection to buy because that is so me. It is definitely my style. I thought about it, I thought about it, and then they sold out. There was a smaller drawstring, crossbody, almost bucket type of bag. That's what I was really interested in because I thought I would get a lot of use out of it. Well, that sold out. The only thing that was left was the Neverfull and the On The Go. Actually, I think the Neverfull had completely sold out. I think this was the last piece that I could get my hands on. I actually placed an order over the phone with them directly and they were so great about getting me this bag. So this is her. There was a blue, there was a red and pink ombre pattern, and then this is the pastel, which has all of the different colors. I just think this bag is so beautiful. You have the jumbo prints on either side and then the little mini prints right here. Oh, I put it inside. So Let's take that out. Inside. Purple lining. You also have the longer straps if you want to wear it over your shoulder. You can wear it over your shoulder or you can carry it like a top handle bag. One of the tips that I picked up was to get one of these on Etsy. So I picked up this little organizer. It fits perfectly in the bottom of the bag. So you don't have to worry about getting pen marks or lipstick marks, hand sanitizer spilling in your bag. It just sits right in there and protects the bottom. I think this was 20 or $30. It really wasn't that bad. It's a very thick felt and it has zips on the side, which is great. So you can keep your important documents in there. Anything that you wanna make sure is safe. Several little compartments here. So it's just a great little organizer. I think this is so genius. The first time I laid eyes on this pastel watercolor print, I immediately fell in love and I started to look up YouTube videos because I wanted to see what the different styles looked like. You know, it's one thing to see a bag in photos, especially a colorful bag, but I wanted to see it in person or as close to in person as I possibly could. This was in the middle of lockdown, so I had to rely on YouTube videos and there were a ton of great videos posted where ladies did unboxing and they showed the mod shots. What put me over the edge and made me decide to go ahead and purchase because, you know, a designer bag is a huge investment, but the price of this on the go tote is $28.60. It's a very pricey bag. I did a quick Google search because I was hoping that I could find this bag on one of the used designer websites for even less, and I immediately saw it on Fashion File. New bag listed at $3,600. It's on Rebag for almost $4,000 and it's used. At least the other one was new. So they're selling this bag used for 
over a thousand dollars more than what the person originally paid for it. So I figured I might as well pick it up at the lower price point and then if I change my mind, if a couple months go by, if a year goes by and I just haven't really used the bag, I can always resell it from one of these websites. I would recommend if you ever are shopping for a designer bag on sale to check all of those websites first. Make sure you zoom in on all of the photos, but they have to show you if there's a defect on the bag. I've purchased a, a designer bag secondhand. It was a vintage Gucci, and I picked it up from LXR & Co. I saw it in person. It was in one of the Century 21 stores in New York City. You can find some really great deals, and there are a ton of YouTube videos that talk about the different styles of bags that maintain their value. So they're a great investment, but also the bags that you should never buy full price because there are certain styles that just lose their resale value. So you can get them really cheap. You're better off getting them secondhand. Very rarely do I ever purchase something designer full price. This is one of the exceptions because I feel like I, it was a great buy in the end, but most of the time I like to wait until I can get something on sale. That completes this designer accessories haul and unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.